Hello and welcome back to another video. I am so happy to have you here. I hope you've had a lovely week so far. So today, guys, I hope you're excited. We are going to be going through everything that is in my work bag. You know that I love to film what's in my bag videos, especially what's in my work bag, because my work bag means a lot to me. I love keeping it clean, I love keeping it organized, and I also love to keep pretty much everything in there but the kitchen sink. So of course, make yourself comfortable. I am. I'm sitting on the floor again. Um, I have just recently thrown a bunch of pillows on the floor and it is like my new favorite filming spot. I think it's because I get a backrest and I can kind of relax. I've got Remy cuddled up next to me and I can just talk to you guys in a more casual way. So to those of you who are regular on my channel, you're probably looking at me going, Shannon, that's a new bag. You haven't told us about it. And yeah, I haven't, I didn't do an unboxing on my channel of this bag or anything because to be honest, I've never owned a bag from this brand before. So I really wanted to use it before I spoke about it. I didn't want to recommend anything that I don't think is worth your money, but I have used it all week and I can safely say that so far, I am loving this bag and for me to use a bag for a whole week without changing it up says a lot. So this is from the brand called Oleata. I actually came across Oleata here on YouTube because I was watching a lot of the quiet luxury um, bag videos and this brand kept popping up. And of course, as you can see, it has that very minimal low branding kind of look, which I love. And as soon as I saw this bag, I straight away thought of the Celine So Sangle bucket bag. I think that's how you pronounce it. And you guys know how much I love a bucket bag. So I didn't really want to try my luck with any of their other styles. I just saw this. I know I love my Louis Vuitton Noé bags and I know I love a bucket bag so why not give this one a go and you're probably really shocked to see that I didn't go for black and I did that on purpose because I did that for you guys uh, but basically I just know that there are a lot of you that don't have a lot of black bags and you do like to go for more nude or brown kind of tones and I wanted to be able to cater to you guys as well so whenever I'm doing any outfit picks um, that way it's not just all black bags. So anyway, this is in the color called Chestnut. It is this beautiful dark kind of tan color. I am in shock. This is going with absolutely everything. It goes with my dark colors. It goes with my lighter colors. I've got a white kind of top on, but I have black jeans. Like it honestly goes with everything. And I actually did an outfit of the day of this bag on my Instagram and my TikTok. And I was wearing all dark colors and you guys seem to like it as well. So thank you so much for pushing me outside of my comfort zone. If if it wasn't for you guys I would have a wardrobe full of black handbags so I love the color I also love this thick guitar strap I feel like that makes it look really cool really modern um, and it is removable and adjustable as well I actually love having both options when I'm heading into work I usually sling it over my shoulder but I noticed the other day when I was kind of leaving work because this sits next to my desk on the floor and the handles up I just grab it and go so having both of those options has been really handy you've got a pocket at the front Front, another pocket at the back which you can slip your phone into which is really handy for easy access or you could um, sl slide your um, car keys in there as well so love the design very very sleek very very minimal branding there and these come in a range of different colors and this leather is the perfect amount of structuredness um, I would compare it to it's very similar to the epi leather where it's structured enough that it sits up but also flexible enough enough that it's very comfortable. They also do a smaller size so if you're looking at this bag and you're loving it but you don't need a work bag they do a smaller one that's like I don't know the exact dimensions but you know what I mean it's kind of a lot smaller which is really cute as well. So in my bag the first thing I have is my phone let's get that out of the way very boring it's just the iPhone 13 um, Pro I think. We then have my little Chanel wallet. You see this in every what's in my bag videos. I just love this wallet so much. I've said it before, it just fits a few coins and then all of my cards. The next thing I have is actually a muesli bar. These ones are delicious, the Sam's muesli bars. I like to keep one of these in my bag just in case. Sometimes of an afternoon on my way home from work, I get peckish and it's always nice to have one of these. That one's been in there for like all week. I didn't really reach for it this week. Um, the next thing is my favorite chewing gum. This is the extra chewing gum and it is sugar free. And the reason why I opt for the, um, this kind of jar like packet rather than the little ones is because 
sometimes I worry in the heat that the little packets might melt the um, chewing gum into my bag. So I feel like this is very safe. And because I'm always carrying a big bag, it always fits fine. So love those ones that they last for ages too because there's so many in there the next thing in my bag very boring it is for my repetitive strain um from clicking so much and typing i get pains in my elbows if you guys get that as well get yourself one of these i feel like it doesn't completely get rid of the pain but it does it puts pressure on the muscles so that way it's not all going to your elbow but anyway very very boring but that is something that i wear like every single day we then have my hand cream this is just the chanel hand cream you probably see it in every what's in my bag video um i actually got this as a birthday gift so i don't know if i would actually go out and pay with my own money for one of these it was a total luxury um, and once it's gone yeah it'll be sad because I do like it it's very very lightweight so you can pretty much moisturize your hands and get straight back to work without everything getting all greasy so that's why I keep this one in my work bag and I keep my other hand creams like more heavy-duty ones um, next to my bedside table for at night so love that the next thing I have is this little pouch I will link these pouches below they come in a range of different sizes and um, um, I just thought that was so cute, a little mesh with the little black hearts. And in here is, it's basically like, like a little emergency kit, I guess. I have some butter menthols for, I had a sore throat last week, so I have those in there from then. Um, we've got a Zara perfume if I need to top up my perfume for the day. We have a concealer. I've only recently popped this into my work bag um, because I've been breaking out so badly and sometimes I'll sit at work and I won't even know that I'm doing it but I'll like pick my skin which is such a bad habit um but then I'll be like oh my god Shannon you're you're not home you're in public like go and sort yourself out so that is why I've been recently carrying some concealer I have a couple of band-aids my loafers sometimes give me little blisters on the back of my heel if I'm not wearing the right socks so I like to carry a couple of band-aids I have a little glass nail file. This one actually broke and they're not cheap glass nail files. This was probably like, I don't know, $15 and I dropped it and of course it smashed. But now it's almost a blessing in disguise because now it's small enough to fit in this pouch. So that worked out well. I have a couple of hair ties and then I also have some panty liners so I also like to keep in here some tampons but I've kind of I think I've gone through them so I need to restock them but that is like my little emergency kit of everything that I may need um, throughout the day the next thing is my reusable little shopping bag these are so good I think it was a dollar um, I show this in every video I have a couple of these pretty much one in every one of my work bags and I work right next to like a grocery store so sometimes I'll finish work or on my lunch break I'll pop in there just to grab some groceries that we may need for home so yeah absolutely love one of these make sure you get yourself one guys because you will use it um, the next thing I have are my sunglasses these are the velvet canyon ones and they're just this beautiful green color I am surprised at how much these go with all of my outfits and I quite like them because the um, actual lens is quite light so yeah sometimes when the lenses are really dark it just makes me feel like I can't see properly so anyway really really love those the next thing I have is my water bottle yes all of this fits in my bag like it is huge guys so this is my Frank Green um, sippy water bottle so you've got the straw kind of up here and the metal just keeps my water kind of cold all day I then have my car keys so my car key kind of just hangs off out the top and then in here you have the rest of my keys this is just the Louis Vuitton 4 key holder again it's a vintage item as well now I forgot to mention this but with the bag you get a pouch with it which is so so handy look how pretty that is um, and you can either you can keep it attached or you can take it off completely and you can take off that actual little strap as well and just use it as a little pouch so this is really great if you need to oh my god I literally just thought of this and I'm going to be doing it um, that this would actually be great for when I need to pop out of the office head down to get myself lunch or anything and it can have in here my work fob 
my wallet and everything that I would need to leave the office. Um, so I might like reset myself up with that. But this is just where I've been keeping my lip balms and my iPhone cord and my AirPods. So these are the things that I reach for probably most throughout the day. So we've got a bunch of lip products in here. I do like to carry a few because, you know, my lips might need something different depending on the weather. Um, but we've got the Rituals Lip Balm. This is like a go-to just straight up um, hydration. God, focus. Absolutely love that one. It's just a very moisturizing lip balm. The next one is this beautiful little um, body shop lipstick it is a purpley undertone it is like my favorite lipstick that I have and I just think I've got it on right now actually and it's very moisturizing it's not like a drying out kind of lipstick so I always keep that with me if I want a bit of color I then have this one this reminded me of the Dior lip oil it's called the juicy pout from makeup revolution and it smells so good and it's glossy, but it's not like a thick, sticky gloss. It's quite, it's, yeah, it's more like a lip oil. So I absolutely love that. The next one I have in here is the Chanel lip balm. I don't actually use this one too much. It's just really great in photos, if I'm honest. God, how bad is that? But honestly, it's not actually that hydrating. So yeah, that's a shame. I really should have gone like a color. But anyway, that's that one. I then have my AirPods just in their little, um, case from the daily edited i love those and then i have my iphone cord with the little cord organizer i will be selling these um, in my little online shop which i'm hoping to launch within the next few months i will of course let you guys know but i hated my cord like because i always have a phone cord with me whether that's for charging my phone or my airpods and i hated that the cord was kind of just getting everywhere in my bag. I really needed something to kind of, um, you know, keep it organized, which is one of these here. So that is everything that is in that little pouch. But like I said, I think I might actually, from here on out, keep in there my wallet. Sorry if you can hear noises in the background. Ryan's making some lunch. Um, and I might keep like my phone, uh, my, sorry, my wallet and my keys in there. You know what I mean? So that way I can just grab it and go. So that's everything in there. Now, left to the last couple of bulky items, we have my A5 planner. Guys, love this planner. I don't get sick of it. Um, with my vision board at the front with my homemade dashboards. And yeah, this I use every single day. If I didn't have this, I don't know how I would keep track of life. Then of course with that I have my little pencil case. My good friend Lou here on YouTube, she sent me this and it's just like a nice little croc green um, pencil case and it has pens, highlighters and white out, everything you would need for my planner in there. And then last but definitely not least we have my iPad. So this is something I've only recently been taking to work and the reason I have been doing that is because on my lunch break is the best time to respond to all your comments and I really, I like to respond to your comments on this or my laptop rather than my phone because sometimes I like to give quite long responses like you guys might be asking about a bag how to fix something how to clean something and just typing on my phone can get quite annoying so having the ipad with me with the keyboard and the mouse pad has been so so handy rather than taking my whole kind of laptop to work so if you guys have an ipad i highly recommend one of these cases this one in particular is from logitech it's very lightweight and it works exactly like this is pretty much a mini laptop now so yeah absolutely love carrying that with me and i did want to mention that this bag fits up to a size 14 inch laptop so this laptop here is the 13 inch macbook pro and let me just see how it fits in here yeah like easy as there's plenty of space it doesn't poke out the top um i think it's is it similar width to the base I think it's the exact width of the base. So that's why they say you could fit a 14 inch and um, it just might sit up from the base a little. So yeah, that's if you wanted to carry a laptop or if you need to for work, it will fit in that bag quite nicely. Um, but yeah, that is the bag with nothing inside. I do have two of these things that came with the bag. It's basically like a leather kind of loop strap with the clip. I think the reason there's two is one is for the pouch and then one you could put on and um, 
clip you know your car keys or something that might kind of get lost in your bag you can clip it on here for easy access I actually might take those off because I don't know I feel like I don't like the pouch is fine without it having to be clipped so I'll take those off um what else you've got a cute little sign this is like their symbol um throughout their bags which is quite cute and yeah there you go plenty of space there is no internal pockets oh my gosh there isn't which is fine by me because I don't use them anyway um, but for those of you who um, want to know there are no internal pockets at all um, but like I said you might just have to use things like their little pouch to keep everything organized but you do have the pockets on the outside so I did take a couple of notes about the bag for those of you who are interested it retails for 789 Australian dollars but they always have like little promo discounts and stuff I noticed on their website um, like I think you get 10% off or something if you subscribe to their mailing list and stuff it is a pebbled luster leather so that's actually a pretty good price for a big beautiful quality leather bag and the last thing I wanted to mention about the bag is that it's very lightweight so this is 740 grams and for comparison I looked up what the GM Noe is and it's 786 so it's definitely um, lighter than the Noe bag and yeah oh my gosh look at I just love this guitar strap like that is what sold me already it's such a nice bag but just this thick strap just makes it look really sleek and kind of modern so absolutely love it like I said it comes in multiple colors did I mention that it closes like this so you don't have a zip up the top but you can kind of use that magnetic closure just to keep um, the bag kind of intact so that is the bag and I also wanted to mention that I am going to be filming a what's in my um, carry-on bag for New Zealand so keep your eyes peeled for that I'm so excited to pack that I love packing a carry-on bag because I'm kind of similar in the way that I like to have everything that I might need and I'm just looking at everything beside me I cannot believe it all fit in this bag I mean that's what would fit in my no AGM size but I think I was surprised because this just looked a bit smaller because the base is smaller but I think because it goes out it definitely fits more than you would think um, so yeah anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see any styling like me styling this bag head over to my Instagram and my TikTok because I often do outfit of the days and I have been using this bag a lot for work so I feel like you're going to be seeing this bag a lot um, and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you all in my next one bye guys Thank you.